Welcome back, gamers. I'm very excited to be back. Hope everyone got what they uh, what they needed to get, what they did, what they needed to do during the break. Very excited to get into this next match, Nerdy. What do you think? What are your thoughts? We've seen Angle Boy a lot in the playoffs. We have seen Hinart zero in the playoffs. What are your thoughts, initial thoughts on this match? Yeah, I mean, it's going to be a good match. I feel like Inca Boy feels like a very... Oh, and my Discord crashed. Um, Farmer, give me one moment. I'll be right back. <laughs> insane, insane. Uh, well, insane Fridgeberg cameo. Currently doing some research on Inca Boy's playoff performances. Don't mind me. Welcome back, nerdy. As I was saying, um, I feel like uh, Anko Boy is a, is a player who we've seen do very well, who we've seen um, make it very far in the playoffs, and a player that we've seen kind of get knocked out early, right? So I feel like this, uh, there, there's always the chance for Hinart, I think. Um, maybe if Anko Boy is, you know, having, having a, a bad day uh, in, in the, in the speedrunning department, then... You never know, right? But at the same time, I don't think it's going to be an easy match for Hinart, and I don't think it's going to be an easy match for Enko Boy. I think it's going to be a good one pretty much no matter what here. Yeah, I mean, I did just look at Enko Boy's playoff performances. Uh, in Season 2, we got third, made it all the way to the quarterfinals, lost there, or semifinals, lost there, and then won the third-place match. In Season 3, he uh, instantly lost in the round of 16, and in Season 1, he got to the round of 8. So he's had three different stages of the bracket that he's gotten to every time so inconsistency there i guess i mean again game is random you know sometimes things can happen you can't just get unlucky you can't get lucky but i think Ingo boy is a very um i'd say more an inconsistent player than most i think he has very high highs but also very low lows so um yeah i mean i think we can look at the player cards for a second before we get into the seed pick bands see if there's anything that super sticks out 14 matches against uh, each other, and Hinnard actually ahead on that win-loss by a little bit. Enko Boy down 6-8. to eight. But, I mean, 11-minute ranked average time. I think we're going to see a couple runners today have a sub-11, maybe a, a couple runners close to sub-11. But, I mean, 11 flat ranked average is very, very impressive. Oh, yeah. I mean, just good stats all around. But, hey, look at that. 6-8. to eight. Yeah, and a 53% win rate is not not necessarily impressive considering we've seen 65% uh from Priffin, you know. So, I mean, let's see let's see what Hinart's stats have to say. 54% win rate. And yeah, but I mean, a higher win rate nerdy, but one entire minute slower on the ranked average time. And these runners, their seeds 8 and 9, they're playing uh they're playing the exact same uh like players in the on the rank ladder, you know what I mean? It's not like Hennard's a quals player, maybe like ninetieth on the on the leaderboard. Like Hennard's been up there. Like they are um playing the same people. So it's very interesting that Hennard's got a higher win rate, but a like significantly slower average time. Like a minute slower on your average? I don't know. It's and just um it's very interesting. What are you gonna say? Well, I'm just curious. Do you think that it's possible that he is lying in so far as being the number one pigfall hater when you exist, Feinberg? I don't necessarily think it's possible for me to be the number one pigfall hater if I can't even do the route. Okay, okay, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. I think I'm very up there, but I think that's very, very like points against me. And that if someone offered me, let's say, a hundred dollars to head into a good gap of stables and do pigfall. I would not put the blocks in the right position. It'd be possible. Like I think it's possible that I could um, do it just based on watching. But I, uh, I don't think I could do it. I wouldn't bet any money on that. So yeah, I, I, I think Kenar could be the number one pigfall hater. I think I'm up there, but I don't think you could put me at number one. Looking at, at all the factors, you know. Fair enough. So yeah. maybe he's not lying. Yeah, maybe it is not. Our seed pick bands, BT nerdy band again. These runners hate playing BT. Will we see any oh. today? I have no idea. And we're getting another, another seed one desert temple. 
This is great for the AA enjoyers. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. Wow. Absolutely right beautiful back. for the AA enjoyers. Be right back. You crashed again? Oh my God. Guys, we have to figure out. We guys, guys, we have to figure out this Discord situation. <laughs> for nerdy. I think we're. I think we will get into the match as soon as. Um... Yeah, I'm sorry, chat. I'm sorry, chat. No, it's okay. It's okay. It is okay. How is it decided who picks first? That's a great question. It's whoever is the higher seed, which was determined by phase points that uh, were accumulated throughout the um, throughout the season. Uh, Nerdy, you could potentially join on Discord through the browser. I don't know if that would be scuffed. Yeah, if you want to try better. that, I, that's annoying. I'm trying some other stuff as well while I'm like... Yeah, that's okay. On the temple. Beautiful. Beautiful spawn. I dream about this, actually. <laughs> Freeway says these pick bands are so bad. <laughs> I mean, BT is just weird. I could see it like... It's possible to just, like, not trust your spike or something. Like, it is the only thing in an overworld that's just straight up hidden. Like, you can't miss the village, you know? But you could miss the BT. <laughs> as, like, stupid as that sounds. Like, I could see just not wanting to mess around with it. Um, but anyways. Three golden apples. That's good food, but it's not amazing. You'll just burn through it. it is, I mean, that is just objectively only six um, shanks of hunger. Is that the right word, Nerdy, do you think? Shanks? I don't well, remember. I feel, like, I feel like I learned this once, but I don't know. Ooh, and our triple stacking has to build up more for the TNT. Is it shanks? I don't know. Drumsticks? Bars? Drumstick yeah, but bars is, like, lame. Like, hunger bar. Health I feel bar. like the entire thing is the hunger bar. I don't think an individual little guy is... is yeah, like, he's, down, like, down three hunger bars. Yeah, because you wouldn't say you're down three health bars. You'd say you're down, like, three health points or three hearts. But you wouldn't say you're down, like, three hungers. You know, like, they're, it's hearts on the health bar. So it's shanks on the hunger bar. Oh, cow in the cowl. Milk! <laughs> nice. Okay. Unlucky. And cow hole didn't boy. work? Cow hole didn't work because the way the cow hole works is the cow has to go spinny, spinny, fun time. And unfortunately, the cow hole was in the corner. So the blocks prevented spinny, spinny, fun time. Hope that made sense. Sure. <laughs> Farmer, your analysis is always helpful. That's what we gotta remember. Uh, another helpful thing about this analysis is it looks like we have triple triple. Exciting stuff. I mean, there's at least two. Inko boy dropped a gap for distraction. Oh wow. Okay, minus one gold apple. Inko boy just fully, fully leaving that piglin with a gap. And he's going to have to bring these pigs over to the other triple. Has to push through. He could get the gap back if he fully suffocates all the piglins after. The piglin doesn't eat the gavel. Believe it or not. The piglin just holds it. I think they're stupid. Would you but, eat that? Would you eat the apple, to be fair? I feel like it's, it's kind of weird. If it was thrown to me, like... Well, I, I just of mean, course. like, in real life, if you if you had a golden apple, like, I feel like eating gold would be kind of bad. I, I respect the piglet holding on. I mean, if it's, like, gold, like, 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 gold, like, leaf or flake or whatever, like, you know what I mean? Like, that's fine. Okay. Right? Like, obviously, if it's edible gold. I think what, what I'm trying to eat, say like, is a I gold feel like the piglet realizes the value without just eating it, you know? It's like, he's saving it to, to sell barter, so to speak. But who is he selling it to? Like, his other friends? Yeah, yeah. I hoping mean, that might, there's another imagine, piglet. Imagine he gets, like, 16 pearls, and then you just see a piglet, like, he would, by, by bartering for it. He gets, like, 16 pearls, and then, you know, he's just cruising around the nether. You know, imagine a piglet doing that. It'd be awesome. 
Well, the pickles already have the pearls because they give it to us. That is that is fair. That is fair. That, 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 that's actually a very good point. That's actually an exceptionally good point. I just don't know who they would sell it to. And I'd be, I feel like it'd be more badass to eat it in front of all their friends. And be like, yeah, I'm the gangster that picked up the golden apple that got dropped to me. Like, what now? You know? Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. You know, fair enough. Maybe you're right. That's what I would say. Maybe the piglins are dumb after all. That's possible. 20 and obby, but that was... Uh... Fresh again? What did you even try? Can you even hear me? Oh, I'm going to take that as a no. Guys, Printer Fridgeburg. Ankle Boy in the fort. There it is. Beautiful, beautiful yeah. stuff. Sorry, Welcome chat. back, nerdy. Maybe try browser. Yeah, that's what I'm going to go to next, I think. Okay. Maybe try browser. Nerdy, you missed not that much. Anchor Boy pretty solidly ahead in the fort. I don't really know why it's taking hard so long. Lot definitely lost like maybe 15, 20 seconds of the Bastion on top of being slower into the Bastion. So Hinnard definitely just behind here. Pretty enclosed fort, it looks like as well. Not really. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Definitely possible for Hinnard to make up some time on strays. Make up some time on heading to the spawner first. It definitely took Inca Boy a long time to get to um, this spawner. So if Henry's able to instant out to a spawner, that could be huge. And he can. I mean, Inca Boy does already have three rods. So not looking great still for Henry Enjoyers, but not looking bad either necessarily. Oh, two and a half hearts, scary. There's one stake, two gaps, not eating the stake, gonna slow heal off the flesh, or eat one flesh and then the stake, sure. But it's Ankle Boy seed to lose. He's got five rods worth of pearls right now. Ten or eyes, whatever, ten eyes. You know what I meant. And our another missed pearl as well. And that's got a very bad food situation, I will say that much. And for some reason didn't do the fourth TNT in the donut. I don't know why. Either. Um actually unlucky it looks like. But Inca Boy. Bodai. Oh, and it's got no spare fire res. That's interesting. I don't know. I think Inca Boy's in the lead. It's just always so unclear on these enclosed forts. I mean, both runners should get the same amount of spawner cycles in the same amount of time. But it's just so dynamic, like how many rods you're building your first portal with, things like that. Right. Like, Hinnart has six rods. But I'm pretty sure Inca Boy has six and can just leave. Yep, he's going. But Hinnart's, like, not as far behind as I thought he would be, you know? Totally. Measuring eyes at the same island here. The eye, you could call it the island potentially. That was really bad. Wow. <laughs> Unlucky. Oh, but Hinnart's actually in a more annoying spot though because he um he was over the water instead of being on the island. And Ankle Boy should be close to cords by now. I mean, even if it was like, you know, 2k away, he's pearled like maybe three, four times. So, going to be pretty significantly ahead because Hennard's going to have to make the same trek, the same journey. So, going to come down to the Stronghold, going to come down to the Zero. But, Nerdy, we've seen a couple matches already co today come down to the Stronghold and the Zero. Ankle Boy missed? Wait, what? <laughs> oh my god. Nerdy's gone again. He's gone again. So oh, brutal. Welcome back. Nerdy, are you on Chrome this time? 
Um, no. I'm gonna do that, like, the... What do you mean? Oh. Well, there's a bunch of things to set up. I don't want to do it while I'm commentating. I don't know. Hinner's just... dead! Why did Hinner die? I was too busy looking at Fridgeberg. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. What I'll happened? Take, I'll take the responsibility for this one. I'll take, I'll take it. Fell in lava, no fire res? Yeah, Hinner only did have one fire res. Makes sense. Damn. So that should Angle be... Boys, Angle Boy's seed to lose. Doesn't have a great spike here, but so far ahead. I mean, he's not going to know he's this far ahead until the seed's kind of just over. Might just be thinking... Oh, creeper. Oh, my God. ...that, um... Hinnard's, you know, heading to Chords and was heading to Chords a little bit before him, so... Could still be thinking that's the case, but... I mean... Even if Angleboy dies in the stronghold, I think he's still ahead just because his stuff didn't burn. So he doesn't need, like, he can just sort of run back and it'll be fine. For sure. It is very possible he dies in here, though. Yeah, I was going to say, this this stronghold is scary. And you have to I mean, he, doesn't have already... a, he doesn't have a great spike, and I think he's completely out of good food. Oof, yeah. So we'll see. But, I mean, it would just need to be the craziest, like, full death time loss, because Hinnart full reset the seed. Right. So he'd need to make up so much time. Is it there? No. Maybe. Yes. There we are. That was a deep portal room. Shout out to Angle Boy for sticking through that nav. Sticking with it. Gonna need to hit the zero. Four eye. So if Hinnard knows that, he can leave on four, but obviously he's not gonna know that. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Ankle Boy, I mean, knows that Hinnard's still finding the stronghold, but he's gonna push the zero. Trying to save us some time, you know? I mean, it is just correct, you know? to push the zero because Hinnart could just spawn in the stronghold and instant out. So you right. do have to go for it. He doesn't know that Hinnart reset the seed. And a pretty clean zero looks like from Ankle Boy, six bed. Gonna give him seed one. Very Good nice. stuff. Yeah, I mean, I really didn't see that much, uh, that many mistakes from Ankle Boy. It seemed like he was just sort of cleanly heading the entire seed, even through, um, like even if Hinnard didn't die, he was just still cleanly ahead. You know, was in the stronghold first, and I mean, maybe the nav there is a little bit weird, but I think that portal room was pretty deep. So, nicely played from Ankle Boy, and like I mean, like I said, he's got some high highs and, and some low lows, and so if he can just you know zone in on the on the solid play, some good stuff. Very good stuff. And yeah, I mean, just ahead the entire seed, but maybe a little bit less than I thought. Basically, just all of this time save is from the overworld nerdy, and that's about it. Like, basically gain no time on the other splits, you know? Like, all this, like, one second, two second back and forth really doesn't matter, like, at all. Yeah, for sure. So it's a very, very even seed up until um, Hinnard dying, so I think I was a little bit mistaken, actually, on... Um, how close this actually was barring the the 30 seconds in the desert temple overworld but sometimes that's all you need right like if you're mm -hmm. if you're in the end five ten seconds faster and it's zero ball it's just over uh and getting that time in the overworld is one way to do it for sure absolutely i mean just clean plays from i mean i it kind of it's kind of been remind you know i have it, it it's been reminding me all day of just kind of the player who's just playing more consistently just seems to be coming out on top. Um, maybe with exception of like a few seeds here and there, but um, it just seems like consistency is is the, the theme of today. Yeah, I mean, that's generally what you're going to need, right? Is uh, if you're just the person making less mistakes, definitely a higher like stakes format for sure. Nerves a lot higher for all the players. You know, you're in the bracket, you can't, you can't lose your bracket matches and um, queue up again. Like, it's over, you know? For sure. Can't just run it back. Can't play again tomorrow. Um, 
you just have to go. And that just makes it so that the person who's playing the most consistent on the seeds where it matters will just do the rest and win out most of the time. So, yeah, I mean, let's see. Pick bands real quick. What are we between here? Room Portal and Shipwreck, and we're going to choose Room Portal. I'm very shocked, Nerdy, that people have banned BT all, uh, all three seeds today. Very, very interesting. You'd think that... I mean, I guess it... I don't know. It, it's maybe the seed type that... Um, oh, my God. Oh, there's a crazy echo there for a second. I don't know if you guys heard that. I was going to say, I think BT is the the C type that maybe has people having the most, um, like being the most uncomfortable with, I should say. Um, so maybe like the odds that, you know, one runner is uncomfortable enough to ban it, you know, versus like maybe people don't necessarily want to play village or desert temple, but they don't like, think they're gonna have a terrible time on a desert temple whereas you could just have a terrible time like missing a bt or you're, you're not as comfortable i don't know i just think it's very surprising especially because the rank filter like makes sure there's no ocean ruins around your island or no like second spawner that messes it up like the, the spike is almost always very cleanly just your bt spike so I, I think it's very interesting still that people are banning it so much compared to you know the amount of like variance in time that we've seen from these desert temple overworlds like 20 30 seconds different food situations for a lot of people so i think it's more interesting almost to see what is banned versus the, what is picked and the order you know but i think with that i think if the runners are ready i think we're in the lobby i always like to see game three i like to see the full analysis segments but i think if ankle boy can lock in he is just playing faster. He does just have the faster average. I think we could very easily see a quick Inko Boy 2-0. But we will have to wait to get into it and see. There it is. Nerdy, what do you think? Quick 2-0? Nerdy, you're muted. Have I been talking over you this whole time? Did you switch to Chrome and maybe your mic isn't working? Hello? Is it working now? Is it good? There it is. Wait, okay. did you switch to Chrome? I did. I did. I did. Okay. Um, I thought I, I was not talking very much though, so it's good. It's good. I was confusing. I was like, is he just letting me talk or like is he gone? Because like we don't have the webcams on that scene. <laughs> and I <laughs> I, I was okay. setting up Chrome or I well I use Firefox, but um uh it's but the same thing. It's actually not basically, the same, same thing. thing yeah. It's like basically. Isn't, isn't Firefox literally like the only major browser that doesn't run off of like the Chromium thing, I think? Yeah. I think Firefox yeah. might be like the only browser that you can't actually say it's the same thing. Like, yeah, like Chrome right, and right, like right. Edge. It's like that's the same thing. <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah. Open store stuff like that is just cool. But anyway, I sorry, don't know. Sorry, I sorry. actually I like giving all my personal data to Google, so that's why I'm a big Chrome fan. I like them knowing. That's that's valid. That's valid. You know, you do you. Bro. Safari? No way. Rocks just said Safari, bro. If you're using Safari in 2024. That's just actually sad. I use I'm it on Apple my on my phone. I'm an Apple hater, bro. There's no way no way people use Safari on their phones, bro. I you just download like it's a just like, like a browser app. Dude, Safari's just got to be so bad, though. <laughs> really? I feel like... I, I don't know. I, I'm not really, like... I, I, I had, really I had bad experiences with Safari when I was, like, 10. That's all. Did you? Yeah. That's... It just never worked on my, like, iPhone 4S, bro. Dang. Fair enough. You know, fair enough, man. Fair enough. I'm just... A, I'm, a, I'm a big Apple hater in general, man. That's all. So Safari just kind of goes with the flow there. I see what you're saying. I, you know, I, yeah. I respect that. I respect that. Anyways. Um, um, no, you can keep going. I'm sorry. Oh, I, no, I, 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 I'm kind of in the same boat, though. I do <laughs> use an iPhone. 
Yeah, we've lost our Apple sponsorship idea. That's what Relan just said. Maybe we need to be a little bit nicer to Safari. So we're actually looking Bro. forward to that. The Apple sponsor in 2025. Um, but anyways, very um, standard overworld from these runners. That's generally how DCs go. Very standard housing. Both runners playing mana. And I'm not sure if they saw the fort, but going to be potentially a very fast seed. Sub 3. It looks like Kennard almost has all his trades. Ankle Boy almost has all his trades as well. 20 Abbey, 19 Pearls, Stack of String. One Fire is only. Potentially more in the pile. Two for Hennard at least. I think he threw one out on accident. Oh, he offhanded it, sure. Are we heading to the fort? Where are we heading for Hennard? Nice little cave exposed there. Was it visible off Home Portal? There it is. Hennart so ahead. Ah. Ankle Boy needs to... No, I thought he was looking for an outside chest. Just doesn't really know where he's leaving. Hennart seems like so ahead on this seed right now. And it's a sub 4-4. Four four. I mean, he's just playing exceptionally well this seed, I feel like. Yeah, um, I mean, some good like strays I, here I too. Like Ankle Boy's going that slow. No, I mean, Ankle Boy, I think, messing up a little bit on this nav to the fort. I mean, just after watching what Hennart did specifically. But yeah, I mean, only really 15, 20 seconds behind. But Hennart, I mean, he, these blazes just keep dropping rods. I mean, this could be really fast. As I say that, both of those blazes don't drop rod. So that's my bad there. Oh my god, Hinnard getting bullied by skeletons. Another skeleton there. Gets hit by a blaze, though, so it's going to be distracted. That's actually good. Four rods. One golden carrot only. Ankle buys five pork chops. So Hinnard's pace seems to slow down a little bit here. But he is um, crafting overlaps stuff. Getting stuff ready for zero. Crafted three gold picks. Waiting at this spawner. It's not blaze bedded, but he's playing for the high roll. You know, it gets maybe two spawns. They both drop. Maybe get one. Maybe get a stray on the way. Like that rhyme. Stray on the way. I like it. No, that was awesome. Very cool. That's what I do. We've got... Oh, man. Angle Boy might die here, though. Mm, I mean, he's got the he's got the the pork chops. Should be fine. Scared me there. Inar was low as well. Yeah, these skeletons in these forts, man. But Inar just needs two blazes to drop around. I think that was one right there. Is this the other one? It is. Can he leave? Drops a fire res on accident. But he's leaving. Here he goes. If this pearl is completely on cords, he could sub six stronghold, but I don't think so. We need to crank this portal within like two seconds, and that's not going to happen. But it's going to be a low six stronghold for sure. He's got the pre-crafted gold picks to make it happen. I mean, an ankle boy's trying to catch up. He's already measured his eyes. He has not actually a completely lied. I mean, him are so far ahead. Wow. An entire split. I spies, not in starter, in a four way. Next to starter. Gets a good spike here. Didn't like that direction. Maybe likes this turning left and continuing to go. I think that's a good vibe. I think it's maybe more to the right here. No, maybe it was where he turned around or straight this way. Damn, no instant av. Still possible to sub eight, but getting harder and harder. Ooh, walled off again. I I like the spike. I like this direction, but it's not letting him go this way. Oh, here we go. Maybe below here. Yeah, there it is. Wow, there it, it is. literally just was right there through the wall, but just below. And the sub eight chances are gone. The disaster. Just a little bit of a weird preemptive. But again, I mean, doesn't matter how fast. Just matters that you're first, and currently Hinnart in the lead, an entire split ahead still. I don't know if he re-upped his entity distance. 
But the dragon health bar loaded, so he must have. Three pearls. Back 91. Going to see him go to 95 and offset this by one so the crystal doesn't break. Gets there in time. Wow. Uh... Not sure how many beds we have entirely, but that's very good damage off the first two. Not necessarily, I think, a five bed zero, but six. Very good. I had two anchors to spare. Kenart wow. going to take seed two with a low eight. I mean, I feel like it was almost near perfect play. I mean, a little bit of a slowdown on that preemptive, but really nothing crazy. Um, just uh, awkward, you know, like getting to that direction. Like he knew where it was the whole time and just sort of had to force it out. But 8-11, I mean, very, very impressive. Definitely, the, impressive. maybe the fastest time we'll see today. I mean, it is a room portal seed. So that is just sort of how it goes with the room portal seeds a lot. Like you're just, you're in the nether at one minute instead of two. So that is just like a free minute on most seeds. But yeah, I mean, just cleanly ahead the entire time, 30 seconds on traveling from the Bastion of the Fort and then almost a full minute on the, the overarching Fort split. Just, you know, better strays potentially for sure. Better handling of overlapping crafting, things like that could all add up. That's very well done from Hinart to send us nerdy to a C3. Do you think Hinart will um, have the upset, cause an upset, be the upset, whatever, however you say it? Man. Our first time After playoff winner. After that seed? Yeah. I don't know. That was pretty impressive. I don't really have much, you know, no notes, so to speak. Yeah. I'm going to say yes. It's very possible. Uh, chat, unfortunately, no full mid -mass, mid match analysis this time. Um, unfortunately, had a step away for Family Matters. Is that the name of the Drake one? Was Drake's one called Family Matters? Yeah. Or was Kendrick's? And then, oh yeah, and then and then Kendrick hit him back with the with the meet the Grams kind of vibe. That yeah. one was yeah. banger. Oh yeah, guys. I oh, think yeah. I think um, it's gonna be hard to be unattached to the Drake emoji, but I think Kendrick taking a very big W so far, as somebody who has not really looked into anything at all, and just um, basing it on other people's opinions. I feel like Kendrick is on a, a big W. Thank you, but right it now. is still developing scene. Also. The underground theory that it's just all for hype and um, it's not actually real beef. But I feel like they wouldn't even be going that hard. You know? I don't think that's what's going on, personally. But maybe they <laughs> would be going that hard. And it would be um, and it would be like fake, even if it was fake. I don't know. I mean, personally, I've cheated a couple world records to drive up more hype. I could see them faking some beef as well like it's definitely yeah, a business right, decision right, right, right. so true true yeah true i mean yeah I don't and know. look at that i, I mean the I business decision that. instantly pays off the twitch algorithm will now boost the stream so hard look at the look at the chat interaction absolute w all right let's get to c3 what scene are we playing? What is it? I forget always. Shipwreck. Oh my god, I love it. Beautiful. Surely it's better than the the cube Priff and shipwreck. Our eight iron, one diamond. Surely we can get at least an iron axe, at least shears or something. I hope. Where's Fulham? Fulham was busy. No mid match analysis this time, she dude. I'm very sorry. But you'll have it for all the other best of threes. Or game threes, I should say. But we're ready to get into the shipwreck nerdy. What did you even? Oh yeah, you said it was Hinard after how he played after C two, and I mean, dude, a That's low eight. Prediction. I think I'd maybe agree. Yeah, I mean, and it's not even like Ankleboy really made that many insane mistakes. 
in the scene. It was just Henry played so fast that it just didn't matter. Like uh, every mistake Hen- or every uh, decision Henry made was almost perfect. The nav to the four was so so uh, accurate. Well done. Here's our shipwreck. Does Eagle Boy see it? He does. Hennard sees it as well. Dude, actually, a rare standard settings L that I was just thinking about, seeing both the runners having to switch their render distance and any distance. I remember playing in, like, method tourneys way back when, when we just didn't have standard settings, and they would uh, tell us what the seed type was. You would have time to, like, change your settings in advance. If they said That's it was funny. like buried treasure or like desert temple or something, <laughs> like I would always like change my pie chart around. Nice. And you could still do it here. Like you could change your standard settings like config. Uh, I just that no one really crazy. does it. I mean, I, and how often have we seen a match really determined by like half a second? You know, like, like yeah, they do know the overall, but I guess it's just like more annoying with uh, standard settings. I don't know. It's very interesting though, Nerdy. I think Kenart potentially made a mistake here. Didn't craft iron doors. Wasn't able to get the food chest. Like, look how fast Ingo Boy is going to enter here. And the only benefit mm. that Kenart potentially has is more blocks from the shears. I do, I do like the... I and he's heading back. Don't... He's heading back to get the food and back to the Magma Ravine. But this is like a lot of time that Kenart is um, losing. Just like yeah, pace was. It's supposed to be slower. You know? Well, are, I mean, it's, it's obviously slower, but... yeah. On the bridge. I Dude, like, how many blocks do we need? Like, look, Angle Boy able to get just a little bit of Netherrack. I mean, and Hennard could just start building to the bridge, but he's in so fast, like 30 seconds, maybe 40 even. Quicker in the Nether. Like, I just, I don't think it matters that he has 25, 40 leaves. Like, I don't think it matters. Because Ankle Boy's just Ankle Boy's already on the chalice. He's able to catch up a little bit, but it definitely just wasn't a um, wasn't a good use of his time. Wasn't a good decision. So I know it's gonna have to make this time back. But it's very possible. Very, very possible. I don't think we're going to be seeing Donkey Kong route here either. Right side triple, left side single. Should be very, very um, standard default bridge route. I don't even know what we call this. Just like the, the right triple route. Yeah, I, I think, think, I think Dow Dowski maybe made of the OG one, yeah. But it's obviously been innovated on a lot since then. Still, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Hinar did something. Oh, he just did it like sort of in the ground here. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, Nerdy, that's true. What, when's the last time you routed a bridge bastion? Be honest. Like a month? Um... Three months? It's been a while. Um, Probably like a month, yeah. But that is, but the the one I I do the one where you go below is what I was trying to say. The, the yeah, no, I know, but just in general, like when's the yeah. last time you went to Bastion? To a Bastion? Pro probably. Ooh, it's been a while. It's been definitely been a while. Uh, you it's know, been a while since you've been in a Bastion. Uh... That's fair. That's fair. You know, I I've done some 120 Bastions recently. Um, okay. In uh, for various reasons, so that 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 was like probably like a couple weeks ago. Yeah. You know? Fair, fair. Very fair. But um, those those routes are different. Those routes are different. There's not really a route because the yeah, people boots I just, are in the you way. Had, you had to deal with those those assholes. Yep. Inka boy out first. Fort just two pearls away. Wow. Pretty commanding lead in this fort. And in the last seed, the person in the fort first did win the seed. Obviously, I mean, that's just usually how it works. Um, but not looking good for Hinar and Joyers that he's still waiting on trades. I don't really know what he's waiting on. There's the prying. 
and he's at the fort. So, I mean, this is really only, you know, 20, maybe 25 seconds, 15, but that's time. Ankle Boy's got his blaze bedded, or his spawner already blaze bedded. So, and it's not really a fort where you can get strays to, you know, gain some time or lose some time. What the hell is he doing? Okay. <laughs> Investing two I, explosives. I guess if you have a lot of beds, like, sure. That was cool. That was cool. I'll give him that. I'll give it. Uh, that was cool. Is it gonna get in more spawns than Ankle Boy? Honestly, maybe. He has the explosives for it. I guess that's cool. I'm. I'm messing with the play. I think it's sick. Yeah, yeah. I like the vibes. Can we have triple blaze bed? I don't think we can have triple blaze bed. Nerdy, have you ever even double blaze bedded in a run ever? No. No? No. No. I've triple blaze bedded once. It was an really? experience. Yeah. Isn't it? It, what about is it doesn't ground zero require a lot of beds like what is it, it does like it's like but it's very rare to have a non-zero blend i guess now that there's so much tech for everything i guess i guess so sure 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 just seems and like ground zero yeah I, I see what you mean like like the argument to saving like the eighth or the ninth bed i guess yeah but maybe i don't know i guess see. Maybe, maybe just correct I mean, it was cool. I don't. I just don't think it really matters. And most of the time, you don't really do it if you're you're kind of on explosive like, um, like barriers, you know, like because seven explosives is good for zero sometimes too. If it's like a weird height. Um, yeah. Is that boy leaving already or just getting a pearl hang out? He's gone. Only six eyes in his inventory, but obviously it's three rods or something. Because he is just gone. Hinar needs another spawner cycle entirely. And Anko Boy is maybe at cords, maybe very close to cords. I'm not entirely sure. But he was at Y80, so a lot of digging down here. And Hinar is doing nothing but waiting for the blazes. Their round of eight or uh, quarterfinal chances slowly slipping away. Should be rods two and three right there. There it is. But he's just so far away from the cords. I don't really know if you can catch up It'll on this tough. terrain management at all. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, Angle Boy is digging through a wall a lot. So if Hennart finds a better way to get around, it's very possible. But it looks like he's forcing the same sort of upper terrain that Angle Boy was at. So going to maybe have the same issue of having to dig around a lot. Yeah, he knows also go 40 blocks sideways here. Wow, nerdy. I was looking on the F3 to see if, you know, if it's an ocean, maybe uh, Hinart snaps in the ocean. This is a very rare mushroom field shore stronghold. Wow. There you go, Feinberg. Loving that, but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Ankle boy in the portal room, getting set up for zero, has food, blocks, good explosives. If he hits the zero, it's just over for Hinart. The back, pretty tall tower. It. He's gonna go for it. Back ninety, back a hundred. Committing to a lower setup. These can get risky. This is where you potentially want more explosives. He has a lot. It's just always a little bit weird on these side setups. But it looks like Angle Boy's handling it pretty well so far. Oh, yeah. Good, good beds. A couple more like. beds as well. Yeah, it's just more about making it not break. Double bed out. There it is. He's going to get free the end. Hennart knows Very it's good over. Stuff. And that's it. Angle Boy staying alive in the playoffs. And unfortunately, Nerdy, that makes our two. New playoffs participants in season four, one and duns, both losing one to two though. They they both sent it to a game three.
Cube losing 1-2 to Perfin, and now Hinart losing 1-2 to Anka Boy. Unfortunate. I mean, just, um... This finding found stronghold split, like, maybe it was just, you know, one spawner cycle too short? You know, only needed two extra blazes? Like, maybe Anka Boy got two strays that we missed? I'm not entirely sure. But, just, um... Unfortunate from him out there. Just couldn't gain that time back in the fort. Um, apparently, people at Ankle Boy found another spawner in chat. That's fair, fair. Was able to play off of a couple extra spawner cycles. Because, yeah, that, that literally was all what the time was. Just Hinnart losing 20, 30 seconds just sitting around waiting for that last spawn. Um, cost him all the time that he potentially needed to make back. But, sure. yeah. I think we look at the bracket. Maybe take a gander. See what game we have coming up next. Nice little best of three. For us just there. Let's take a look. I think we need to wait for it to update for a second, but we will be on the bracket very, very shortly. There it is. Slowly, slowly filling out. Nerdy, our next match coming up. Low-key... Versus Anju. 